all right good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel chatterbox so recently i've made it to 100 subscribers and i'm very grateful i want to tell you guys thank you and i very much appreciate all the support that i've been getting and feedback from all family friends and even strangers thank you for helping me achieve this milestone and it's, I hope you guys enjoy the journey along with me. So with that being said, I just want to talk about a little things, a little thing about life and the people that you have in your life that you should cherish and be grateful for them. Because as we all know, tomorrow's never certain. Just because you live throughout the day don't mean that you won't die at night. You know, and it's very sad when you think about it, you know, but it's something that we all have to face. You know, like yesterday was one of my good friend's birthday. He passed away in 2016. Bud Charge, Gio Martin, rest in peace, bro. Is him thought, you know, like death is not something easy to deal with, you know, and everyone deals with death differently and you know i've lost friends family you know and it's, it's just it just sucks man you know hopefully you hope that you could get to see them again on the other side for whenever we pass over so you know if you got good friends family people who's always there for you looking out for you don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call you know a simple phone call a simple text message it goes a long way, you know. And you never know what that person is going through. And that text or phone call might make their day. You know, and that's also something I struggle with too, you know. Because I'm, I'm a little bit antisocial, you know. So, I'm not really... All, I don't really open up to people like that. And I got to read the energy first, you know. Because I'm not to trust people. So, it's like, you got to feel out people's energy first before you even... The, get close to them or talk to them about certain shit or say certain shit around them you know because you never know that person might take what you say i run with it and it turned into something else you know so yeah give thanks for life always give thanks to seeing another day you know the most high up above you know don't hesitate to say a prayer take time out of your day to say a prayer pray when you wake up Pray in the afternoon. Pray before you go to bed. Say your grace before you eat food. You know, you want to bless the food and bless the hands that prepare the food. You know, because you never know what what's out there that could harm you. Especially in these times that we're living in this COVID time and everything rough. Uh, we don't really know what's going on in the world. So, you know, you just want to take time to appreciate the things that you have in life. Another thing is freedom, you know. A couple of my brethren them was locked up there in a prison. Some still inside, some out now. I know they want to give thanks for freedom, you know, because being locked up in a cage like an animal, it's not, it's not a good look. And it's not something that we, we want to go through, you know. As mammals, we're supposed to be free. I roam the earth, what God created, you know. And that's the crazy thing because God created the earth, but we who are roaming up here for living on it. You know, people charging us for land. You have to pay for land, land tax and all them foolishness there. You know, it's crazy. So, don't know how the place set up already. So, you know. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for a lot of things, you know. I'm grateful for my mom, my parents, my grandparents, close friends, family, my girlfriend, you know, my brothers, cousins. I for big up all of them, you know, they all play a huge significant role in life and you learn you learn from everyone around you, you know. And some people give you life lessons that you'll never forget. You know, so even if you and them person did not deal no more, you guys were one school, so you have to give thanks for them same way and the lesson that they taught you. 
and you know just wish the best for them you know i got a pure heart i don't go around wishing bad for people no matter what them do me still want the best for them you know all right no violence is not the answer is it? i have to just kill them with kindness more while kill or kill them with silence you know but yeah it's a nice beautiful day today sky is blue outside and cold i'm just there i'm going all of vibes and i kick back and i meditate you know uh you know, we 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 seen a lot of shit growing up. You know, seeing family members go to prison. I seen family members get deported. Friends, same thing. You know, not easy out there. And you know, I got a lot of family back in Jamaica who I wish that I could give them the help that they need. You know, like got my nose set, not easy out there, but. That's why I'm here trying to find my calling. Hopefully, like, you know, if I was ever successful to make a certain amount of cheddar and all that, like, I w that's one thing I would love to do is to take care of my, my close friends and family, you know, make sure so everybody I live lavish and I live like royalty, you know. Like, uh, at the end of the day, materialistic things is not what make life and bring happiness, you know. You might have things out there that you like, but it's not needed. But you know that everything we needed in life, what we already have, we'll be grateful for. Because, like, money, to be honest with you, money don't mean much to me. Like, I don't really care about money. But uh, the reason why I want money is the things that I can do with money to make life better. You know, like, even create generational wealth for my kids and when they come on this earth in the future. You know, help the whole family situate themselves, you know, because... Being poor and not nice. Nobody don't want to be poor. Nobody don't want to shuffle and I wonder what I'm going to eat tomorrow. Like, that shit, that shit is crazy. That people don't have food to eat. People don't have nowhere to sleep. Winter time, homeless people, you don't know where them there. Uh, where them have forgot you, where them have to sleep. When um, snowstorm on below zero degrees and all that shit and even going out traveling to go to work in those conditions ain't even normal either you know like yeah I'll get up and i walk through snow and them thing they're like it should not easy brother but somehow we we'll manage and god give us the strength and the power to to reach them level there and accomplish what we have to accomplish every year but you know i'm not i'm not gonna keep you guys too long just wanted to show my gratitude and give a little speech about life. And, you know, there's more things to talk about, more things coming. Thank you guys for tuning in to me with Chatterbox. And I'll see you guys the next time. I'm out.